Hi guys, welcome to another VPN test drive brought to you by VPNTop10.com. Today the VPN that we're going to be looking at is Private Internet Access. They're one of the most popular VPN providers in the world, and with good reason. It's super affordable and they have a ton of features packed in for such a small price. They're especially popular with two crowds of VPN users, I'd say. The first is the budget crowd, the people that want the most bang for their buck. Private Internet Access has tons of this. Their packages are only 40 bucks a year, that's $3.33 a month, and they have features that uh, meet or exceed those of a lot of their competitors. The other crowd that they're super popular with is like the BitTorrent crowd. And the reason for that is they have a lot of features that uh, BitTorrent users specifically can benefit from, such as uh, private internet access doesn't keep any VPN logs or log your data at all. Uh, they allow torrents on all their servers, they allow five simultaneous connections, <clears throat> and they have security features like a VPN kill switch that a lot of other VPN providers do not offer. They also throw in a free SOX5 proxy located in the Netherlands uh, for free with the purchase of their VPN service. A lot of other services you're going to have to pay separately to get proxy service. So, okay, let's take a look at their software. Uh, here's a system tray icon, and it's a nice visual indicator. Right now we're disconnected, you can see the guy's red. Uh, and when we are connected to a server, it'll turn green for a nice visual indicator of your connection status. So we're going to load the settings here. Now nah, we'll close this for a sec. Uh, and as you can see, uh, this is the, the simple uh, settings, but if you want to go to the advanced tab. Okay, let's look at some of the more advanced settings. First of all, you can specify uh, what type of connection you want to have, UDP or TCP. This is basically just a port type, and you can assign a port number uh, if you want to set up port forwarding through your router, but most people won't need this. Next is the VPN kill switch. This is a really handy feature, especially for people that are transferring sensitive data that want to make sure their true IP address never leaks out. What it does is basically uh, it constantly senses, if you select this uh, checkbox here, it will constantly test your IP address. And if it notices that you disconnect from the VPN server and your IP address switches, it will instantly kill your internet connection so your computer can't reconnect through your normal ISP connection. So it's never able to connect outside of the VPN, which is good. Uh, DNS leak protection, I always recommend you keep this enabled. That's basically, uh, it fixes a Windows security vulner vulnerability where sometimes Windows will allow DNS lookups, that's when you like you type in a web page and it wants to find out the address of it. Sometimes that can expose your true IP address outside of the VPN tunnel. So if you keep that enabled, it won't happen. And IPv6 leak protection, same kind of thing. I would also keep that checked. Okay. Now we can go into the encryption settings and actually give you some good manual control over the encryption type that's used. Uh, you can choose between a couple different encryption algorithms. Uh, I used the lower one, 128-bit is still considered uncrackable by today's uh, brute force supercomputing standards. However, you can choose some more advanced algorithms like AES 256-bit encryption or Blowfish encryption. The downside of choosing higher encryption is that you might get slightly slower speeds. You can also choose the uh, key bit uh, depth of the uh, the handshake, the RSA handshake, and basically this is just like the password, how long the password is that's used to encrypt your VPN tunnel. Okay, let's take this probably for a test drive. As you can see, there's a whole list of servers here. There's about 20 different locations you connect, can connect to, about five in the US and then uh, maybe 12 or 15 other countries, a couple in Canada. Okay, uh, so we can connect into a server, it's pretty easy. We're gonna connect to a East Coast server right now. And you can watch here, you'll see the guy turn gray telling you that he's connecting and then it'll turn uh, bright green once the VPN is connected. Okay. And as you can see, it's gonna be pretty fast. We can uh, we'll watch the speed test here. So getting over 60 megs a second, as you can see, it's like as long as you have the bandwidth, the VPN can keep up with you. Now this is kind of a local server, so if we go overseas, it might not be quite as fast. We can test one of those for you in a second. Let's see. We'll just uh, we'll let that finish while I switch servers. Uh, let's try Germany.
Okay, as you can see, the IP address is now located in Germany, and we'll just run the speed test. I expect that we'll still probably get about 10 megs a second. We'll see. All right, still getting uh, over 20. You only need about five megs a second to stream HD video uh, with services like Netflix. So 2025 on an international VPN connection is great. Okay, I just want to highlight a few more features and we can go through the packages here. As you can see, uh, for one year, for 40 bucks, you get a full year of service. That's just over three bucks a month. Or you could go month to month for about seven bucks a month. Uh, a couple features that I really want to highlight are first of all, the, the no VPN logs of any kind. It's kind of unique among VPN providers. I would say about one out of four offer that feature. A lot of VPN providers that keep data on you for maybe six months at a time. So uh, no logs, big perk, more anonymous. Uh, they throw in the free proxy service if you want to use that with something like uTorrent. A lot of BitTorrent users like to uh, route uTorrent separately from the rest of their internet traffic. So you got that for free. Um, you can connect five devices simultaneously, which is pretty awesome. Most VPN providers are going to let you do one or two simultaneously, but five simultaneous connections for one price seems like a great deal. Uh, it doesn't mention it here, but they also have mobile apps for iOS and Android. They also have manual setup options and guides for those devices, so you can protect your mobile device for free as well, or at least included in the, the package price. The tech support for PIA is pretty good. Their VPN client, the software, is pretty much a one-click installer and then you sort of set it and forget it. It's easy to use. Uh, you're probably not going to have too many problems with that. But if you want to do some more complicated manual setup for, say, your mobile device or uh, your router or uTorrent, they have a configuration guide for almost all the things you'd want to do. Beyond that, they have a support forum and they also have online live chat uh, with technical support if you want to deal with issues live uh, with a real person. Getting up and running with private internet access is quick and easy. They accept most of the major payment options you'd want, including PayPal, credit card, Amazon, Google Payments, or even anonymous payments with Bitcoin. Even better, they only require an email address when you sign up, and then they send you your account information that way, including the download link to the software for greater privacy. The whole process only takes about two minutes before you're up and running online. Private internet access has made a bunch of editors choice lists at vpntop10.com, including earning the top spot for best budget VPN and best VPN for BitTorrent. The truth is it's probably going to be a great fit for most users, and at 40 bucks a year, it's an excellent value. They also have a 7 day money back guarantee, so if you're not completely satisfied, you can go ahead and try something else. Really, the only feature that private internet access doesn't offer is a crazy number of servers. There are a couple of VPNs like IPVanish and HideMyAss that have servers in 50 or 60 countries. So if you think you need that, you should check out one of them. But if you're fine with just 10 or 20 different countries, PIA is a great place to start. As a professional VPN reviewer, I get offered all kinds of free accounts, and I actually have four or five active ones right now that I don't even use but I do pay for an annual subscription to private internet access, and it's the only VPN that I actually pay my own money for, because the truth is they offer a lot of features that other VPNs just don't, and they do it at a great price. If you think private internet access might be the right choice for you, or you just want some more information right from the horse's mouth, please go to vpntop10.com PIA. That's an affiliate link. It'll take you right to their website. We'll get a small commission, and you'll get a great VPN at the best possible price. Otherwise, feel free to leave a question in the comments. I go through about once a week and answer them. Or you can go to the show description and I'm going to leave a link to our full review of private internet access with more speed tests and super in-depth look at their features on our website, vpntop10.com. Thanks a lot, guys, for stopping by and best of luck in your search. Thank you.